Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Gray has to step in and call a halt to the contest. The official time comes in round number three. It's two minutes, two seconds. The winner by TKO victory, still undefeated now with a record of 18 victories, 18 wins by knockout. Still the IBF. Anthony, good to see Rob McCracken on your shoulder there, the first fight of this new partnership. Let me talk about the fight first. Eric Molina, everybody was talking on paper that it could be a potential banana skin with everybody talking about the future. Disaster averted for you tonight. Disaster or averted? I don't even know what averted means. Avoided. <laughs> there was no disasters for you tonight. <laughs> no, no disasters. Um, but, you know, he was trying to tee up with some haymakers. Excuse the pun. But, um, you know, that's the way box in. They look for the shots to try and stop you. I bet I was patient because, as I said, people are fresh early on. And uh, we move on. It's not the end of the story yet. We're still on that grind. So um, we get back to the drawing board and move on to 2017. Taking nothing away from Eric Molina. But were you surprised at his negative tactics tonight or did you simply not allow him to get into the fight? It's two types of thing they can do. You can get a Dylan, and Derek type of fight, or you can get someone who comes in the ring like Eric Molina. So it's hard though dealing with a negative fighter who's not giving you many options because someone who's boxing with you can give you opportunities. Someone who's waiting on the back foot, you've got to create them. So I just have to be patient and create the opportunity. So no problem. It's a style that you've got to deal with and there'll be many more when I step into this ring. Do you feel that you've got that fear factor about you now though, that some opponents are beating themselves before they get into the ring with 18 straight knockouts? No, no, no. These opponents like, because I'm not one to talk, but I'm not one to mess around. But still, if I also start talking, I think they'll realise what I'm really about. But it's like that, until you step in the ring with someone, you don't know what you're facing. People go off the pass, like when I was an amateur and stuff like that. But I stayed consistent, I stayed dedicated, and I'm still not at my peak yet. So, you know, the longer I keep on uh, training and staying in the gym, the better I'll become. It's a strange mix that you're heavyweight champion of the world, but I think in your own words and Rob McCracken's words as well, you're still a heavyweight in progress. Are we seeing developments, especially now you are working with Rob McCracken, your old amateur trainer? Yeah, man. Like, all the coaches that I'm working with are putting in an effort. You can't just forget, like, the nutritionists, the physios, the medical team, McCracken, Sims, Seltz, Max. The list goes on, do you know what I mean? So, everyone that's putting in work is really producing what they're seeing in the ring right now. Okay, let's move things forward to the future. Do you feel now that after that defence of your title, a relatively straightforward defence, that you're ready to step up to the next level of opponents now? I can see an array of heavyweights at ringside. No problem.